Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Gilead Friday, 17 April. Equity futures gapped higher on the Gilead news. Uh, and then the COVID briefing from Trump. People are full of optimism. Big gap here, as you can see, closed at 80 after a big, big battle yesterday, bulls and bears between 55 and 95. Wow. We really thought 55 was going to break, uh, but here we are, uh, 126 handles higher. Not much to do with this now. Uh, we need to do a little bit of a deep dive into the trial. I see some skepticism out there on Twitter, uh, but you know, Twitter's always skeptical. So we gotta do our own research on this. We do have um, we do have some sort of technical moving average points coming up on the radar. The two hundred day is at thirty eleven, so that's not really that close, still hundred and forty points away. And then, of course, sort of 29.80 is this sort of cliffhang here in this last gap fill. 29.60, 29.80. So we're in the middle of nowhere. If you're a bull and you're long from yesterday, great. Uh, that was lucky. Um, hang on to that. Uh, and if you're a bear, try and start selling somewhere between 29.40 and 3,000. Uh, so not much to do at 28.77. Let's look at currencies. Uh, short dollar Swiss, same song, different day. Uh, not doing a whole lot. 74.04 last night. This trend line was was um, tested, but not really exactly tested yesterday. So this was sort of interesting that it held. Um, you know, whatever, short dollar Swiss, short dollar Norway. We talk about it almost every day. Um, this is basically the, the QE watered down dollars fucked trade. Join me if you believe it. Or don't join me. I, I, I really don't care. Um, dollar yen. Little double top at 10808. Worth watching. Uh, is dollar yen going to go lower? Uh, with this risk on why is this going lower with risk on I think risk on removes the scarcity of dollars trade and puts the QE side of the trade in into uh, into focus that's why when stocks go up the dollar seems to be going down now I believe that's the that's the current logic if, if you want to use logic as a word we were pretty sure that um, Euro Yen was going to take a bath. Got down to 56, couldn't get through 30. Then we popped higher all the way up to 117.41. Did not make a new high yet. Uh, but if you look at Dollar Yen, 106.90. If you look at Euro Yen, this 106.30, 106.10, uh, 116.30, 116.10. If you look at our friend Sterling Yen, 133.60 uh, and 132.50. This complex looks like it wants to roll over, but it, it's not yet. So we have to wait for price to confirm. But this is something to watch. There'll be money to made. There'll be money to be made when the three of these roll over, and it'll be similar to the Aussie the other day when we were looking at. Buying Aussie through 6208, selling Euro Aussie through 17450, and I believe we were buying Aussie yen. Anyway, there were three um, similar trades, slightly different entries, um, and usually on that day, the first of the three pays. Obviously, it makes a lot of sense, but we want to watch that little trifecta there. Dollar yen, euro yen, sterling yen. Uh, not close right now, but plan it in your head, visualize it, get ready for it, because there'll be money to be made the day that that happens. Dollars are continues to be fucked. 
Um, not much else to say. Like, why would you buy that currency, uh, South African Rand? Junk status. No leadership. Power cuts, drought. Could go on and on and on. You could buy it because of the people, the spirit, the energy, the joy. But, sorry, that usually doesn't translate into currencies. Um, not looking good. Not looking good in South Africa. And it's kind of sad. Aussie, on the other hand, popped up quite a bit. Uh, did not really want to revisit these uh, 6440 highs, but um, if you're skeptical of stocks, this is your horse. Uh, sell Aussie, or more importantly, sell Aussie yen at 70. This is a this is a classic sell. It's again, not close, so not helpful on the day. Uh, but these are something to think about. Gold's come off with all of this joy, equ equity joy. If you had a bid at um, 1710, still did not get filled, lonely, lonely days. You might want to just pull that bid down because it looks like we're going to trade between 1700 and 1680. It may go down to 1650 just because of the lack of liquidity in this. Um, you want to try and pick up some gold on a dip. If you. Uh, if you have the courage. Um, what else is out there? Dollar Norway. Went up to 58 the other day. Uh, back down to 32. Eventually this is going to go through 10. Uh, we're waiting for oil to change. I don't know what's up with the oil chart here. Maybe there's a contract change or something funny. Um, this is not correct. Oil. Front month oil is trading under 20 bucks. So, I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway, um, not much to do on the tactical book, got to say. Uh, we're going to be watching this yen complex to see if, if we do get some kind of a turn. Uh, you're short some dollar Swiss. If you're shorted in the tactical book and you sold against this trend line, trade it, right? The tactical book you trade, the directional book you're patient. Uh, so go ahead, buy some 75, sell some 95s, buy some 62s, sell some 82s. And if you buy 62s and it goes figure offered, it's okay in the tactical book. This is the nickel and dimes book that smooths out the returns from your directional book. Just talking to myself here. Um, one last thing. Boons. Too high, these boons. Should go down lower today with this risk on. Um, and then, oh yeah, finally BTPs. What a disaster that was yesterday. My God, where are BTPs? Um, you know, 137.40 was the sell zone. But, um, you know, we wore this up to 138.75. That was just idiotic, right? I mean, what the hell was that? What is that bar? I was talking to some fixed income guys about it, and they basically just said BTPs are a proxy for all kinds of things out there, and there's all kinds of flows. They're a proxy for European junk bonds. They're a proxy for Portuguese debt, Spanish debt because it's liquid and it's public and it's sort of like that junky proxy there's a lot of flows in BTPs that can screw you in the head not to mention the BTP boons flows anyway uh, we wore this for 100 and whatever 140 points uh, and then we just scratched it which is terrible very unprofessional idiotic I know but um, Really, really idiotic bar. I, I didn't understand the bar yesterday. You could argue the daily looks kind of bearish, but I just don't understand what's going on. With BTPs, they should be, they should be on their knees. They're not. So we squared. Anyway, I've said a lot, but very, very little today. 
not much to do. Patience for the European Open here. Um, let's do some uh, research on the Gilead drug, see how legit these trials are, um, and wait. Waiting game today. Good luck out there. Have a good trading Friday today and a great weekend ahead. Talk to you guys Monday. Ciao.